Hi, everybody. Yeah. Happy Monday. It is July 30th. You're watching live with Lee and Haley. Thanks for being with us. How are you, Mr. Cruz? Great. How are you? I'm doing good. Took Ollie to the vet this morning. How did he do? He did really good. Really good. Got him some uh, little booster shots mm -hmm. and he didn't even cry this time when they gave him shots. So things are going good. He weighs 11.7 pounds. Wow. He what a big boy. He is huge. In case you're out of the loop, I got a corgi earlier this summer mm -hmm. and his name is Ollie and he is the greatest dog no, of all time. No, we thought that was, you know, some fellow in your life. I took Ollie to the vet this yeah. morning. He <laughs> refuses to see a traditionally trained doctor, yeah. but I want to keep him around a while. Well, um, so he's healthy. He's healthy. Good. Everything is good. Took him to the lake this weekend. Does he, he likes the water? He loves think? the water, and I've got him a little doggy life jacket, and it is <laughs> the cutest thing. I'll try to remember to show y'all pictures later this now week. Why does he need a life jacket? Don't they know intuitively how to yes. swim? Yes, he knew how to swim the very first time we put him in the water, but it just Makes you feel better? Makes me feel better, and it makes him calmer. He t if he's without like it on, he's like... It's like a thunder blanket. It is like a thunder blanket, yes. People can swim yeah. they drown. Jesse. Oh, Jesse, don't comment on this. Jesse just said something foul over to the so, side. So, um, we... Uh, we, yeah, we, tell me. We put him in the thing, and then you throw him in the water? I, How does that work? I don't throw him in. Why not? He'll just swim between people. He just, he likes to swim, and then he can just kind of... I don't know. But it keeps, it's made for dogs, so his head is above the surface. Yes, his head is above the surface. Uh, the whole time. It just makes, just it just makes him paddle. feel calmer, so he's not having to work as hard to swim. But he's still swimming everywhere, but it's kind of floating. Okay. Like, it makes it easier for you to swim when you have a life jacket on. I always wear a life jacket. You in, wear swimming. In the tub. Let's, in the tub. I wear a life jacket. In the just tub. in case, you know. Yes. Everybody be safe. If you're going out boating on our areas, lakes, yeah, and rivers. Do. My cousin works for TWRA in Tennessee, Tennessee Wildlife. Oh. And one of the greatest quotes in our family, it's very sad, but it's also very important. He works all the boating accidents. You hit every T in that word right there. That's interesting. Which one? Important. It's important. <laughs> important. Yeah, important. important. No, he works all the accidents, um, like on lakes and stuff like that around there. And he was like, after all the things I've seen, I make my daughters wear a life jacket if they're just going to get a drink of yeah, water. You should. So yeah. please be please. safe. Take please it do. seriously when you're out there. Because we, when we were out this weekend, we went to Taylorsville Lake. It was so jam-packed. I mean, the, the whole thing was full of boats. So just be careful. Good be safe. Great weather. What did so, you do this weekend? Uh, you don't want to share? Well, I didn't do anything exciting. So uh, coming up on today's show, uh, we're going to visit uh, with Lexington's Green Tree Tea Room. I love that place. It's uh, so actually, awesome. The food was great. Yes. Yeah. They, they are so cool there. And it's sort of a, uh, you know, after meal theme show today because I think it's National Cheesecake Day. It is. And Happy National Cheesecake Day. from the Cheesecake Factory, where they make all cheesecakes. Any cheesecake here. you've ever Any, had. It comes from the factory. Yes. That's right. Yes, they're going to be here today to help us celebrate because they've, I think, got two new flavors. Yum, yum, yum. And, so and, good. And we got a giveaway a little bit later for the uh, Zach Brown Band. How cool is that? I love the Zach Brown Band. I like Do those you? guys, too. I love them. So we've got some tickets giveaway. Yeah. Tickets to give away. But we'll tell you when to enter in just a couple minutes. Okay, let's do some hot topics. Let's do it. Hot topics. Hot topics. All right, so the Obamas were seen at a Beyonce and Jay-Z concert over the weekend near D.C. Barack and Michelle were there in attendance. Here they are getting down, y'all. Let's drop that banner so you can see them there. There we go. So videos were shared on social media of former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama at that concert. And everybody's laughing about these videos that were posted um, of them really getting down and talking about, are his moves good? That's him kind of in the bottom center. He's not really doing as much as I would like him to. Just a little arm What movements. do you want him to do? What's wrong with that? I think that's perfectly appropriate. I like it. Because you know, I don't consider him like a great dancer anyway. Well, true. <laughs> so I think that's proficient for his skill level. I like it, though. Very no. nice. I like that they went to the concert. That's good. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's just a dad. I mean, let's That's not, true. Let's he is just a dad. Put him up there as some sort of entertainer like the guy's got skill set <laughs> really he's not gonna be up there with Nicki yeah, Minaj he's, he's like, a dad oh. that, that's what he does yes well a man is accused of changing his gender for a cheaper car insurance this is true certificates on the left reads male <gasps> the newer one reads female and he wanted a brand new car but the insurance costs were high so the man says it started when an insurance company gave him a quote roughly about forty five hundred dollars a year because he's had a couple of accidents the insurer told him females pay less for insurance, which is true. The man said he got a doctor's note to show the government, this is in Canada, that he identifies oh. as a woman. And he received a new birth certificate in the mail indicating he was a woman. 
He says he's only a woman on paper, and he changed his driver's license and insurance policy, saving him about $91 a month. What? This yeah. is the most convoluted way to yeah. get a deal. He got a deal. He is taking advantage. He wanted advantage. to save money on insurance. <laughs> I am upset with this man. Why? You are not a woman, and you don't really identify as a woman either. He's, he's cheating. He is cheating. I don't. I think it's a loophole. Typical man, cheating. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> <laughs> but also, why do women pay less? Is it because they have less accidents? Fewer accidents. It's it's based on statistical data, and they because the women when they, they I don't know you know listen they probably have tell me about women they probably tell have me. I'm just I'm just going to spitball I bet they have more fender benders and those kinds of things guys have the the uh, what's the huge accidents they have the calamities the calamities the calamities they have the calamities that's not the word i was looking no, for no i think you're thinking about the clampets catastrophe catastrophe that's catastrophe. the word thank you jesse <laughs> the, the more catastrophic there she is because they they you know drive fast men are running and gunning going, they run and gun a going. lot more yeah yeah have you had an accident well when's the last time i no i've not have never been faulted right i was t-boned I've told you that story. <laughs> yes. Was it at the, what's the one that happened over here, not too far from our station? Last year, it was in the intersection, and you were turning, and somebody. Yeah, no, that was, that was. That I was, was the T-bone? That, no, it was at, over in Beaumont. Oh. I was going to go see my buddy for a mortgage thing. That sounds exciting. Yeah, and I, I was, and I was the third or fourth person through the light. Yes, 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 and yes. And then I'm on the phone, and boom. I get T-boned, but here's the thing. Not only did I get T-boned, he backed up and hit me again to push me out of the way. So I'm in my car oh, yeah, going, he ran. what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's how that worked out for me. And now he's pushed me to where I'm backwards in the, in the lane. My door's jammed. I can't get out. Yeah. And people came to check on me because I did hit my head on the window. And uh, anyway, he, he ran. Of course he did. I don't think he was a citizen of the country. Oh. Mm. So he didn't want to get caught. So anyway, he ran, and then, but, but that doesn't make me as angry as the story I'm about to tell you. Then as I Hold sat on to there. Hold your shapewear, folks. we got a long the, story coming our the way. The light changed. So I'm sitting there in the heap of what used to be my car, and a redneck in a truck sees me there and thinks I just decided to put my wreck there on that side. It was in his way. So he laid on the horn and flipped me off. Uh, oh. And I was so angry, I wanted to taste his flesh. <laughs> I've never been that angry in my life. Yes. I, I literally, if I could have got out of my car, yeah. I would have eaten him like Hannibal Lecter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's... I was so mad at that guy. If I ever find you, you're mine. That is horrible. He sees you turned backwards in the intersection. Clearly, you've been hit. Yes. People are standing around yeah. you. Well, They've he been... did see the good side. Oh, well. But uh, he was like... What do you think you were doing having a tailgate in the middle of New York? I don't circle? know, but I would have I I really... Don't be that guy. Your time uh, is not more important than Lee's or anyone's. That, I, mean, I think eventually they caught the guy and put him in jail, the guy who The guy it. who actually hit But that is not who I want. You want the other I guy. I want the guy in the truck. <laughs> Where are you, man? You so big and bad? Come on over to the station. Yeah. At an appropriate time. Whoever you are. Yeah. Ten <laughs> years ago. <laughs> you know it was me. Yeah. Okay, so two California moms have put together a grocery store list that has gone viral. Have you seen this? They posted it to Instagram, I mom so hard. It sums up the shopping experience for a child, or for a mother um, of children. The list included chorizo I sampled, but will never cook. <laughs> so much chicken salad, so, so much. And <laughs> gross vitamins, wine in box, I like that on there. Uh -huh. Magnum of head and shoulders for my bae. A bucket of pickles. Bucket of pickles, only thing under ten dollars. The whole list is on their Instagram page again. I mom so hard. You can see that wine with a handle on it, an extra TV. <laughs> I like this. That is funny. Yeah. Mom life tent question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, a single post on Twitter has given a homeless, unemployed worker a job. Yeah, the 26-year-old man made a bold move. He stood in an intersection passing out resumes. He moved to California with a college degree, three years' experience as a software designer. He says he underestimated the cost of living. He lived in his van until he couldn't oh. afford the payments. 
He lost it in June, was sleeping in a park. The man decided to pass out his resume on the street. A woman saw him, posted his picture on Twitter, and since it's gone viral, and he's been contacted by several companies following that picture. Oh my gosh, he's going to get a job and he deserves it. I saw where the new California senator is proposing that we help pay for their property taxes. I'm sorry, what? Camilla, what's her name? Camilla Harris, I think. Yeah, I saw that she posted that the other day. Or she was suggesting that the, the rest of the country help pay for California's extreme uh, rates as far as property taxes are no. concerned. And, no, we're good. No, you, we're okay. You take care of you. We'll take care of yeah. us. We're still trying to get <laughs> yeah. at least gender changed on his insurance form. So I can get that cheaper rate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A zoo in Cairo, Egypt, has been accused of trying to fool visitors by painting zebra strikes stripes onto a donkey. <laughs> this is real life, folks. The That's real a pretty good job, that except is pretty, for the ears. Pretty nice. <laughs> so a photo snapped of the animal <laughs> was posted on Facebook. It's gone viral. The zoo, zoo director is denying the allegations, yeah. saying, no, this is a zebra. Look at that. Okay, I don't know. What? Mm, I don't okay, know. Okay, many social media users have noted the animal has large ears and a smudged paint job. <laughs> Look at that on the side right there. I don't, I I don't like know that. about this. That's like, who is it? Oh, I can't remember the comic's name. Tim Walco, maybe? I can't remember. The guy who does the, the bit about his dad was so cheap, he'd take him to these generic off-brand circuses, uh -huh. and they would make announcements <laughs> like, Come see the huge midgets we've got. <laughs> they stand an enormous five foot seven. Oh, you know? my gosh. What? It's all fraud. Oh, all yeah. frauds. All right, those are our hot topics today. Well,